Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Elder Kings 2, where we are once again playing as Emperor Humilio of the Empire of Men. Not just Cyrodiil, but Hammerfell as well. And we hope to move on up through Skyrim while, uh, while uh, Humilio is still alive. And while we don't yet have the chance to switch to uh, House Seniority, I think we are going to get the chance. Uh, his, his health is at fine now, but that's because he has a temporary malice uh, from an encounter with a snake, which is going to end in about a year. I think he will be in good health for a while. Um, and we'll have some claims to press in Skyrim, but before we do that, I think we've missed a There's a couple spots left of Hammerfell that we have missed. So, first things first, I believe... One of our own, uh, one of our own vassals, one of our own queens, um, has a claim on the on this kingdom. Or we could, hang on, just simply sieging all du jour land would cost less prestige. So we'll do that. And it'll just be uh, one county to siege down. simply captured them in the battle. Let's bribe him into not hating us so much. Learn Yoku as well. Which leaves just one du jour part of Hammerfell left. This interesting little pirate confederacy, the one that is ruled by Velek Sane, a name you might remember if you've played Skyrim, and specifically if you've gone through the College of Winterhold. It's interesting they have him in this game as a pirate. Normally I'd declare a holy war, but I think my new religion doesn't let, allow me to do this yet. I think you need to have a, um, I think you need to have a, uh, you need to have a, um, have a head of faith in order to do that. So I wonder... I really don't want any Daedra as vassals. I don't trust them. I don't want to ha I don't want to just leave them there either. In the meantime, one thing I want to do is uh, reform my culture to uh, get one of the uh, civic um, to get one of the civic traditions that allows for a, a higher number of uh, that allows for a higher number of vassals one that will increase my vassal count specifically legalistic but I need about 5,000 more prestige before that occurs. I'm going to go for the duchy and try and revoke the Daedra's titles. Hopefully that works. Because I would like to... Uh, I would like to close shut the marble jaws of oblivion. That's kind of my job as the emperor, isn't it? So we will land there. Once we've pushed them out of the sisters. Oh. 
Apparently, we were not well su suited to land piecemeal. We needed to get them all at once, or not get them at all. And there are, appear to be other sea pirates who are uh, who are present within these lands. So I'm gonna, yeah, just siege down this island. I'm gonna bring up holy warriors as reinforcements uh, from the capital. Should be safe uh, there while they wait. And while I summon them. And I'll just put the Grandmaster in charge of them. Or, actually, no. Someone better. And I've succeeded in learning Yoku. Always useful to learn a language. Mike the Liar has shown up. Haven't seen him yet. Mike traveled a long way before getting here, as, as he heard many were calling for his wisdom. Bandits? Mike knows nothing of bandits, but they must indeed be hounds. So as he turn, I think... Inscrutable Khajiit Wisdom. That gets us... Ah! Well, because of Mike's knowledge, some of it verified by actual facts, we our learning has been boosted by one. I think this might be a uh, might be a deliberate gag on the fact that bandits, particularly in earlier builds, were a bit um, were a bit bugged out. I think. Let's see if we can't uh, hit their army in battle here. Belek Sane himself is leading this uh, is leading this force. We've got our own Seishi master on the on the case. What's his commander rating? Twenty five. Do we have anyone better? Ah, so we've captured uh, his daughter and heir. Actually, we have his daughter and heir in prison. I think it might be worth... ...killing them. even if it costs us a bit of war score. Since we're here to purge Daedra. We should kill every prisoner we can. Since they're not really going to die, they're just being banished back to oblivion. So here's Magistrate study of Primary Heir is me. Now I could revoke their title. Would not accept that. So I think I might simply have her assassinated. And for now, simply uh, hold on to those portions of the sisters that I now control. I'll let a Sistrian hold this. And, um, redistribute such, uh, 
redistribute such lands uh, as is necessary to uh, uh, such uh, such lands that I no longer have use for, I should say. Have him, I'll have him banished back to oblivion as well, uh, and I'll be able to declare war on them. Then I think I should have full control over the de jure lands in Hammerfell, and I think I'll be able to get the uh, Lingua Tamrielis decision, which will, uh, which you need to uh, declare two, uh, true two de jure empires to do. And uh, what you do is you get a uh, same culture opinion boost, you get a flourishing. Uh, culture boost. It's uh, it's it's really quite worthwhile. Although I may want to save up that prestige uh, for the necessary culture change that I wish to make. Um, but uh, I'm going to um, recharge my troops, allow the uh, offensive war malice to die down a little more because I was going to do that before I interrupted myself, and I will get to you once that's been done. Okay, now that the Daedric pirate rulers have been disposed of. I can declare a holy war for this duchy. And she holds both of the uh, admiralties or, baron or uh, counties directly. So I can just purge her out of here now. Without any uh, concern, any particular worry. Now raise raise them here to uh, land them. I'm going to make sure they all land at once to avoid a repeat of the last landings. Hopefully a direct landing on the capital will be is all that is sufficient. Uh, Debel and Sybil just died. And uh, here's the countess that I'm going to give everything to once this is uh, once this is through. Okay, and that's one of our ostensible allies, but that allows us to uh, press a claim that I plan on claiming very soon. Yes, and I'll declare the kingdom right here. I've got some um, temples I'm constructing, and once they're constructed, I will hand them off to uh, her right here, and she will be uh, the queen of the sisters. But that, that'll be a few years off. Though what won't be a few years off is her control of these. And the duchy that is part of them, why not? Our piety is now high enough that should we wish, we can become a lich. But I am not going to do that until I absolutely have to. Uh, one thing, one advantage that I have is because I have uh, completed the whole of body tree, I also will get one year's warning before I die of old age. So... And I don't plan to lead any armies, so the only risk would be if I got assassinated. Oh, Mantius Tharn is the person whose claim I was going to press, so... Yeah, that's, um... Hmm. That's a, that's a, a non, kind of an unforced error. But I will uh, demand that they convert. And hopefully with another king that has a uh, another independent king, they'll be able to make a second holy site, which will allow us to have a head of faith. 
But I do have a claim that I can press here. Uh, Lady Signe has a claim to the Kingdom of the Rift, and I'm going to press it here. Okay, combining two local armies, since they, since the Rift has a fairly sizable force of their own. I might be able to invite someone who can press their the claim on White Run. It would be kind of a dick move to do that to uh, my own kin's person. But Empire is a dirty business. Nothing that can be done about that. Now the time when we'll be able to get how to start researching house seniority is when the time of the Pretenders era starts. That's 3550 localized. Uh, the last year of the first era was 2920. So that is going to be in 14 years, in 630, when I'll be able to start researching that. And I don't know how many years it'll be. Uh, perhaps a couple decades, perhaps only like 11 years. But we'll have to monitor that closely. Well, the Shezarine cult is starting to stick in certain places, at least. So, Talise. I'm spending a lot of time with her. Don't know what makes her scream. It's been a problem, for I must know. Sharpen my tools and make sure the rope's deep voice resonates. With the want to see brought to straight to the edge, and so I could get the mace of Molag Ball. I'd lose a level of devotion, and I would also lose a very good antiquarian and coat court position. I will be cursed by Molag Ball, but I am a great wizard. I can uh, I can remove curses, and I think that's one curse I can remove. So I'll take the piety boost. I'll also take the 10-year uh, the 10-year truce. There, that uh, that removed the curse. I'm stronger than a Daedric, Daedric prince. Certainly stronger than his worshippers and lieutenants. So why should I fear him? Why should I fear the king of rape? I'm Humilio Tharn, motherfucker. They're gonna meet them up in the mountains here. Since it does appear I will need to need battle to wit run up the war store. Okay, and that is the War One here for the Kingdom of the Rift. She will, no doubt, lose it just as quickly as she won it. Since she only has controls one county. But that won't be important. Uh, whoever takes it from her is going, to be, uh, is going to be a strong and loyal vassal to me. And that's really, that's really the only thing that's important, isn't it? And, you know... Minus 22, considering I just want a kingdom for her, she's awfully ungrateful. Invite her to court with a hook. As head of my house. 
suppress this young princess's claims for the kingdom of White Run, so I can start building up uh, my the number of uh, of counties I have and counties I need to at least claim Western Skyrim, and from th and from there, from that base, take on Eastern Skyrim. I don't suspect, I, I don't expect that I will uh, finish this task before House Seniority. Um, but this video will end when I complete one or the other. Okay, and now our family claimant has claimed the quick kingdom of Whiterun. Which brings us about halfway to the point where we can claim Western Skyrim. We've still got a little Peasant's Revolt to take care of, but that should uh, be uh, dealt with qu quite quickly and quite off and also quite off screen yeah I shan't be updating un until we have made uh, until we've mopped up these kingdom these uh, these little chiefdoms I don't think I need to show you on screen our uh, mopping up of these smaller ones here Sunguard crumbs uh, all these areas that uh, will be necessary to forming Western Skyrim. Uh, but I shan't be updating until I've either uh, gotten enough to form Western Skyrim or can begin research on the uh, on the uh, on the succession law fascination. So I will skip ahead to then. It's going to be a big time jump. Ah, one uh, one little pit stop in between our uh, our boosting of our uh, standing in Western Skyrim. And uh, our uh, implementation of uh, implementation of House Seniority is the reform of the Nivenese culture. We are going to establish this legalistic tradition. It is going to take 30 years before it's fully implemented, but once we do, uh, we aren't going to have any further problems, or at least we shouldn't, uh, with uh, the number of vassals we can have in our empire because we're going to need to have a lot of them if we're going to rule all of Tamriel. So, we'll move along the western bit of Skyrim now. Well, interesting. As I was making myself busy uh, conquering a bunch of uh, petty lands in the Reach, it seems that um, it seems that Eleanor wishes to test me while I'm distracted. Since, obviously, they wouldn't be able to get me at any other time. So. I suppose I'm going to need to raise the rest of my uh, forces here. And go on and meet them wherever they should uh, deign to try. Maybe force a landing in, in their capital. If need be. But this peasant revolt uh, has been taken care of quickly enough. As you can see, I'm quite busy in the reach, so my best forces won't be able to meet them. But I should at least be able to call in a holy order. And here they are. They seem to be to have attempt, attempted a landing in Hammerfell. Uh, these forces, which I'm gathering up, shall meet them. I'm going to have them land safely close by in Noshira. But 
but I have a new, in the meantime, I have a new pedestal artifact to display in my court. It'll increase our prestige and grandeur. We're starting to get uh, to the point where I uh, feel proud of my trophy room. Although not quite yet. I feel like I need a few more uh, true, true, unique knockout artifacts before I can truly say that's the case. But there's the, uh, the first of those little petty... Uh, those little petty chiefdoms. Again, I'm not going to bother showing you with showing you them. I th feel as though they're all foregone conclusions. Okay, now here's the big fight with the Elven army. We outnumber them. And they were trying to flee. Okay, now they're retreating from Hammerfell. With the rate at which I am... Uh, Losing money, it's possible white peace might be the only option, but I'm going to unsiege what they have and see what I can do for that. Okay, and we are also victorious in our defensive war against. Eleanor. She gives us plenty of money to do something that takes us yet another step closer to forming West Skyrim, and I know I said we were going to form it completely, but, uh, well, it looks like we're just going to have to settle for, uh, creating the Kingdom of the Reach and gather and granting it to whichever one of these is most powerful, which appears to be the Chiefess of, Hol of Holdan. So we will do that, and now that it is uh, 2E630, we'll be able to, uh, in our next video, research the uh, research be or begin researching the fascination that will allow us to secure our succession with House Seniority. But that's going to have to wait until next video. So until next video, I have been Maritati. You have been you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.